we are seeing the numbers go in the wrong direction and unfortunately seniors are seeing as being vulnerable. On this World Elder Abuse Awareness Day, BC Senior Advocate says the incidence of elder abuse in the province is alarming, citing a more than 100% increase in cases reported in the last five years. Perpetrators can be scam artists that may contact a senior by phone, by text, by mail, by email, or even in person. But they can also, unfortunately, be a family member, a caregiver, a neighbor, or a vendor. Earlier this year, the Richmond RCMP says an 88-year-old woman was assaulted by a stranger back in March, while the Burnaby RCMP also investigating multiple cases of debit and credit card scams where seniors lost up to $5,000. Elder abuse can come in the form of physical, emotional, neglect, and the most prevalent, financial abuse. Signs might include a lack of money for necessities of, of living, when, an, when the person's income appears to be adequate, or perhaps a sudden withdrawal of money from their account, or unexplained changes to legal documents, such as property titles, wills, powers of attorney, or representation agreements. The Office of the Seniors Advocate fear that many cases of elder abuse go unreported because the victims may feel embarrassed or unsure how to get help. They encourage victims to call the Crime Stoppers hotline so that law enforcement can better crack down on the perpetrators. Having a relationship with a fraudster can make it difficult for a senior to report the incident. Being defrauded at any age is terrible but losing a lot, a lot of money as a senior can be devastating. Crime Stoppers can help connect victims with the proper authorities and is available in 115 different languages for victims who may have language and cultural barriers. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.